Let's take a look at Anderson Set 4, Prelim 2021, Paper 2, Question 4, Part 1. A curve has the equation y equals to ln square of 1 plus 2x plus 3. Show that the curve has only one stationary point and determine the nature of this stationary point. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Okay, we know that we need to do dy dx because we need to find stationary point. You will need to do a logarithm rule here first to help you so that you can differentiate easier. Okay, it's not that you can't differentiate this one. I'm just saying that it's easier if you do a logarithm rule. So let's just move the square root, which is power half, to the front first, okay, before we do a differentiation. Okay, so first step. Next, we know that we need to find stationary point. We will need to do dy dx equals to zero. So I'm going to differentiate this first. This one stay here. Okay, so differentiating ln, copy this item here, differentiate this and put it up here. So you have 6x squared. Okay, differentiating this. Let's just simplify this. We have Okay, so for um, instances that you can't check your answer because the full solution is not given to you. Later, I'm going to show you how we're going to do it, okay, online. So let's just um, continue. We are going to find stationary point. So at stationary point, we are going to do dy dx equals to zero. This one, okay. So continue from here, we'll get 3x squared over 1 plus 2x cubed equals to 0. Okay, multiplying this item over here, you'll get 3x squared equals to 0. And the only answer that you'll get is x equals to 0. Okay, so there's only one answer. Let's just find what is the y coordinate of that. So I'm putting this x equals to 0 over here. So you'll get y equals to half ln 1, which is equal to 0 as well. Okay? So the only stationary point is 0, 0 in this case. All right? Okay, so we pretty much has done part 1, show that the curve has only one stationary point, which is this one. Next, we're going to check the nature, okay? So let's just take a look at the second derivative first. Okay, I'm going to put this one here. Let's just differentiate this again using quotient rule. Okay, differentiate this one, which is 6x, okay, multiply by this. Quotient rule is the minus at the center here. Then differentiate this and copy this, okay? I can copy this one first. Differentiating this. So you see, I do one differentiation at a time, okay? And over square of this. Okay, let's simplify this. Okay, one more step. So we will get, okay, let's just insert x value as zero. Right, you will see that the second derivative is zero, which we can't we can't say is a maximum or minimum. Okay, it's we call it inconclusive. All right, 
So what you're going to do, I'm going to erase that part to show you what to continue next. Okay, now I'm going to use this y dx value and we are going to check um, two points. One is on the left of this zero and one is on the right of the zero point. Okay, so I'm going to write this. Okay, I'm going to check this value, putting it in. Okay. The other point. Okay, let's see what we have got here. So this one I have. Okay, so now let's take a look at how this, this one looks like. We have x value at this three point. Okay, and dy dx value. So the first one I got here. This one we know that the gradient just now, stationary point is zero, and this one is this. Okay, so now let's I just write down this sign here. It's positive. This is zero and this is positive. Let's look at how the gradients look like. Positive gradient, zero gradient, positive gradient. So this graph here, the nature of this stationary graph, 0, 0, is a stationary point of inflection. Okay, so for the cases where you reach this is inconclusive, we're going to do checking off the gradient left and right. Okay, now let's talk about how I'm going to check, let's say, this expression. And the expression I've gotten here and here, right? Okay, let's say you do not have an answer to verify your answer. There's a good way to do it. Okay, I'm just going to show you. You don't need to know this, how the graph looks like, but you will see that at zero is this pattern, okay? It's not maximum, it's not minimum, it's a point of inflection. And if I'm going to differentiate, I Take this off. If I'm going to differentiate this graph, okay, this is my answer. And let's say I want to check this answer if it's correct. I'm going to draw another graph on it. With green color, you'll see that it actually overlapped it, okay? So it means that I know my differentiation is really correct, okay? So what about doing this second derivative and I reach this answer and I want to check my answer? So let's just look at this. This is where I double in differentiate lawn that I have just now, this graph, is in black. And I write my answer over here on it. I put a different color, which is green and it overlapped it. Okay, so this one is good when you don't have an answer to check and you want to know that your differentiation, part one here, part two here is correct. Okay, so that is something extra. So we have completed stationary point and the nature for this question.